and we are live okay cool start the music here so this is a guide to np and reborn as a mechanic generally speaking so let's just get going right now oh my fucking god this is not working properly cool so what is np np or natural power are values that are asso uh, associated with the digimon's base stats they're essentially they essentially affect every stat but spirit it ranges from 0 to 30 and generally if you're playing without the reborn mechanic that's what you're gonna get if you are playing with the reborn mechanic uh i'll explain that a bit more but reborn does affect np as well uh pretty much it's rng it's like pokemon it's like ivs you you don't you can't exactly manipulate what role you're gonna get it's just whatever dragon rod wants to fucking give you whatever god wants to give you whatever the fucking rng number values want to give you there's probably going to be some way to manipulate it eventually in the future, but who really cares? But yeah, upon getting a Digimon's data, when they hatch from Digitama, or upon Reborn, pretty much. Uh, and then, how is NP calculated? So, the formula I came up with is going to be level times base stats plus NP. These two are going to be added up together, going to be multiplied by this. And that's going to be equaling to your current uh, stats added on to your NP. So an example that Dragonrod gave me pretty much uh, when I was talking to him on the Discord server was that Omegamon, ha if Omegamon has a base stat total of 210 for special attack specifically with 30 NP at level one, he's gonna have a total of 240 special attack right there. And then if we apply this multiplicatively to the formula I presented earlier, right? 100, you're gonna put 100 right here times 210 plus 30 you're gonna have a total of 2400 also you know mochimon kind of explains this in the game and a lot of the npcs in this game actually kind of explain some mechanics to you very vaguely not very specific so the next one's gonna be pretty much we're just gonna be talking about all the fucking muscle mon dialogue so you guys kind of have an idea of what the fucking range is so at zero np he says fucking Hmm, yo man, it's pretty bad. Sorry about that. That's if like and I and I, I tested this on my own. This kind of was a long process, but you know, this is more so of a reference. So that uh his next dialogue is It's bad, but it could be worse. It's gonna be a range of zero to four NP. Uh most of the NP values are gonna be ranging from one to four, outside of three exceptions being the worst, the best, and then I'm gonna show you in a little bit. So at 5 to 8 NP, he's going to say is okay, nothing special. At 9 to 10, which is the weird case, it's going to be uh, is very good, man, above average. This is the, the other weird exception where it's not going to increments of 4, it's at an increment of 2, pretty much. Uh, and the next is going to be relatively good, nothing amazing, but it's good. That's 11 to 14. Uh, 15 to 19 is going to be very good, man, above average. Uh, 20 to 24 is going to be quite impressive, outstanding, I'd say. And then 25 to 29 is where you're almost very goaded. Uh, when I was doing this, when I was trying to max out my NPs like the first time, this one was, I was assuming, like, the near-perfect one. I was kind of right. I was kind of right with the range, though, when I was initially testing it. So I was like, that's pretty cool. And then here's the weird one that's kind of sucks dick. The 30 to 45... So if your NP, if your Digimon has never reborn, the max amount of NP you can have is 30. Uh, I'll explain the extra reborn points later, but pretty much um, if you have maximum reborn, you're going to have a total of 45 NP. It's kind of crazy, but also Muscle Monk can scam the shit out of you if you had 150... Uh, if you had 150 reborn points, he can scam the shit out of you, making you think like you have perfect NP. You don't. You're most likely going to be in this range that's what i learned yes on yesterday's stream with dinomon also the way you can manipulate np is through non-amon fuck this npc i don't care what anyone says he's helpful but he drinks like more than half the time and each of those chips costs 90k just to raise your np value by one it's pretty fucking expensive so you know the end game for this game is either going to be np chip grinding exp burger grinding or whatever the fuck you want for grinding but regardless if you want perfect digimon it costs a shit ton and it's a lot of time wasted uh and then 
I'm now going to explain how Reborn works as a mechanic. Essentially, Reborn is kind of like a mechanic that rewards you for using the same Digimon. It kind of snowballs in a sense, as long as you meet within certain criteria. That's the main thing. So, the, the main, cri main two criteria for to get access to Reborn as a mechanic is going to be having four or more hearts, and then being a minimum of level 15. And in general, as long as the Digimon dies, and you meet those criteria, you will get some form of Reborn points. Some form. Uh, so if, you, if you're abusive to your Digimon, you starve them, you make them sick, that's what I do, uh, you will still get points. You can cheat them like shit, as long as right before they die, they have friendship. Four hearts of friendship. You give little Timmy a head pat, you're good. Who fucking cares, right? Or you can be a humane person, let them die of old age. Fuck them. I don't care what you do. As long as you understand that killing's good to get more stats. Also, the Tamer skill, uh, Digi Egg Polish, gives you plus five extra reborn points upon reverting into an egg. So, this is where one of the few exceptions where you'll get reborn points, like, regardless of what you do. As long as you meet the criteria, you'll get it, from what I understand from what I understand at least um, and then if you meet the reborn criteria if you're leveled for every 20 levels you're gonna get an extra one RP so in essence at level 100 you're gonna get five RP at base and then an extra five RP from digi egg polish so in total each cycle you're gonna get about 10 RP your cap is 150 RP so you know have fun with that that's gonna be about 15 15 cycles minimum uh, how do we calculate reborn points and how it affects stats? So pretty much, like I said, every 20 level, pretty much basically based off your current level gives you the current RP. If, uh, and then pretty much, this was just more references to show with the formula. I kind of got a little ahead of myself, it's fine. But pretty much current RP, so pretty much, so for example, let's say we have the, like I even have an example here right now myself. Uh, let's say Agumon's at 15 RP, 15 divided by 10, is going to be 1.5 rounded down is going to be one np additional based off of your reborn points so at level 100 agumon's just going to have 100 extra base points cool that's if you like agumon who fucking cares uh calculating np plus reborn points so this is it really only for people who give a shit about the reborn mechanic and getting like maximum possible stats so the new formula really only just adds one extra value. It's going to be level times ba uh, base stats plus NP value plus the bonus NP gained from the reborn mechanic. So from this little nifty formula I have right here, you'll get this value. And then you get your equated stats. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then, you know, you're, like I mentioned earlier, maximum value. It, maximum NP value is going to be 45. So in essence, this can be 30, this can be 15. That, that's pretty much what it is. You can just make this one value if you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then the other example that Dragonrod gave me is pretty much like, protect, like, well, it's not really exactly this example, but here's another example. So if I get, if Omni Omega Mon's base stat is 210, we plug that in there, it's NP value right here, 20, and then 35 NP bonus right there. So this is just going to be essentially N uh, 35 RP divided by 10 is going to be 3.5. That's just going to be number three right here on NP bonus. And then we're just going to get this value. You can check the math if you want. I, I did the math too. I checked. But yeah, you're. it's just going to be 100 times 210 plus 20 plus 3. That's it. it it's pretty simple. I try to make it as fucking dumbass proof as I can if I could. And then the formula here, this is pretty much if you want to calculate base stats, pretty much. So pretty much it's going to be whatever your current stats for the Digimon. Let's say like you have an Omega Mon at uh, 23,300 right here, a level 100 with whatever the values we had prior. And then we just divide by the level. That's it. Then you get the actual base stat value. Uh, and then this one's the other formula for calculating exact NP. Um, pretty much 
the way you calculate like stats is pretty much base stats times level equals stats so current stats is pretty much what your digimon has and then stats is pretty much what the base stat, base stat times level so pretty much let's get that other number again 2300 300 right here and the omnimon's uh 2100 uh 2300 23,300 minus 21,000 pretty much is going to be like what leftover is going to be about 2,000 yeah 2,003 2,300 so you're going to have pretty much you know 23 NP pretty much and then I have more examples here so max NP plus RP this is a good I, I pretty much had two people help me out right here so I had a uh, Zion and then Dark Bolt pretty much give me like their example Imperial Drummond's Pretty much I grabbed their attack stats pretty much and I plugged it into the formula here. Same thing with this one. Same thing here. It's pretty easy. If you want to double check with it, you can. And then here, getting uh here's how to get the exact NP value. This is off of like my two, my Dinomon. This is off the same Dinomon that I got scanned by Nanemon. Or not not, not Nanemon, Muscle Mon, where he gave me the wrong info. So this is where I thought I pulled God stats. I was wrong. I didn't ends up that i i, I kind of just was like oh just pump more np chips into him but yeah i pretty much just got the special attack stats right here which is 25 25,500 and then 24,200 plugged it into the, the the formulas i presented then you get the fucking actual np value right here 32 yeah so like nanimon will tell you it's flawless even though it's not maxed out so you know fuck nanimon or no fuck muscle mon I don't care. They, they're both fucking assholes, in my opinion. Either one's a lazy piece of shit, or one kind of gives you semi-false information. Semi-false information, but, you know, I mean, Musclemon's okay, but he's kind of a bitch to check every Digimon with. And then, what's the conclusion here? Uh, the bigger your NP, the stronger your Digimon. Big number good, bonk. Big number good. Bonk head harder. I agree, pretty much. And then, you know, who is this kind of for? This is this guide's mostly for people that are just kind of curious how NP and Reborn work or what the criteria is for Reborn at the very least so you can get extra stats so your favorite Digimon can become a stat stick and kick ass. That's more than anything. Like, that's kind of what the idea is just so people have an easier time out processing the information. Uh, and then, you know, if you want to just do a challenge run later on where you don't engage with Reborn, turn it off you have less stats you're losing out on like what 1500 extra stats so it's it's not the worst and this is just who i want I, I, these are the people i want to give credit to i want to give credit to dragon rod he, he pretty much gave me like everything i needed he didn't tell me the exact formula he gave me numbers and i just played with those numbers pretty much uh and then i want to thank count von uh count, count von count he's, he's he was he kind of helped me gave, get some information also sneaky ostrich and also uh kree uh dark bolt 202 uh zion uh i'll just name them 21 xx xxi and then anyone else i fucking missed in the server so you know th thank you for you know making sure i got at least most of my information right i might still be missing some information please correct me if i'm wrong <laughs> but yeah other than that you can just join the G digital tamers 2 discord or else when Nigomon's gonna fucking do funny dance moves on your ass also uh i do plan on doing individual guide videos for er almost every digimon i'll probably do megas and ultimates first showcasing their movesets their base stats and on top of that uh most likely i'm gonna also talk about analysis on ways we could buff the digimon how we could actually like just from a numbers perspective make it easy for dragon rod to just be like oh okay we'll change the digimon's like uh what stats the move scales off of for the digimon and potentially like maybe like other dumbass ideas but yeah you know enjoy <laughs> hopefully this guide's helpful hopefully it's accurate hopefully grindosaur likes it and hopefully you know it makes sense. Okay, goodbye.